There's this saying, you've heard it, we've said it, I've said it. It's actually a good thing, but it, sometimes it rubs me the wrong way. We want to be a place that has a deep end and a shallow end. And I go, well, yeah, that, that's, a, that's exactly right. We want to have a deep end. We want to be able to have people that are rich in faith, rich in walking with God. They've done it for a long time. They're walking in this great maturity with God. And then we want to be able to create a, a, a place where those that are, are, are unsure of who he is or maybe even not saved or just brand new baby Christians, first grace, we want a place for them. We want them to have a place as well. This is really good. And then we want everything in between. It's called family, right? Family has the old and they have the young. We want a deep end and a shallow end. I love that. It's, it's the right saying. Here's the problem. Problem. It's beautiful if it's an observation and it's the fruit of your intimacy. It's horrible if it's your strategy. Does that make sense? Because here's what I've learned about churches. When you try and say uh, the strategy, our strategy is a deep end and a shallow end, I promise you what you have is a shallow end. That's how it turns out. You get a shallow end. The deep end is probably on Monday night with three old ladies in a Bible and they speak in tongues in that group. And a couple crazies go over there, and that's called our deep end. And then occasionally we let them out on Sunday, but only carefully. Right? See, Jesus never strategized for a deep end or a shallow end. He only said what he heard his father say. He only did what he saw his father doing. That was his strategy. What was his strategy? intimacy and intimacy is the goal because he prayed that we would be one here and that we would be one here and that really is is my passion is that i that we would be a part of a, a body that i would steward well that you would steward well that we would be part of a body that is living so intimately aware of him our lenses are clean our eye is single we can see him we know that he's good that's our our foundation we're living from that place and then we're living in this ex, in this grace that's expressed through honor one to another where we create cultures within our home cultures within our friendships cultures within our church where we learn how to walk in such a way where it's not about gathering around agreement it's about about gathering around a revelation of his goodness and it's about gathering around and celebrating what God has called each of us to and then we develop this place where trust can grow because I'm convinced that the world isn't going to be fixed by churches that strategize for a deep end and a shallow end. The world's going to be fixed by churches that know how to walk in honor, live as expressions of his kingdom come and say yes to who he is. Amen. I'm convinced that it's that that moves the kingdom of heaven to earth, that we would be one as he is one. That is the strategy. Intimacy is the strategy. It's the strategy in our personal walks, in our personal lives, and it's the strategy in, in, a, in a church that brings heaven to earth, establishes the mandate of God, the kingdom of heaven on earth. Amen? Can you all stand?